Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Nier Automata on the Xbox Series S, the cheapest current gen console. So Nier Automata is a game I really really like, it was my favorite the year it was released and I tested it on all the computers I own across multiple patches and stuff that's been happening on the PC version. And now that I also own consoles, I wanted to check it out on the Series S, since this is on Game Pass right now, at least at the time of making this video. And a few things that come up to me when I first launched the game is that the resolution appears to be pretty low, the same as the base Xbox One version, it's a 900p resolution without any anti-aliasing applied to the image, so there's a lot of shimmering in this version of the game. It feels like you turn off anti-aliasing on the PC version, so yeah, especially when looking at stuff into the distance or the foliage even very close to the camera, you're going to notice a lot of shimmering going on, which can be quite distracting, at least in my opinion. It's running through backwards compatibility, but it's using the base Xbox One version, so again 900p, locked to 60 frames per second. So I would say the biggest advantage of this version of the game over the base Xbox One is that there is a solid 60 frames per second across the board. I wasn't able to find a place where it dropped below 60 frames when fighting multiple enemies at the same time with effects close to the camera. So yeah, while the game is fantastic, one of my favorites, and the frame rate is solid 60 frames no matter what, basically, I think that this console can do a lot more. Maybe anti-aliasing on a 1080p resolution at 60 frames per second, I think that should be pretty easy to do. Something in between, I'm not asking for much, 1080p 60 should be easy to do on this game on this machine. It should be more than capable. As of right now, there is no news on a XNS improved patch thing for this game, which is unfortunate. In order to test the game properly, I did one of the first boss fights, then I run around the open world, and at the end I'm fighting in the desert. That has a lot of effects on screen when fighting the enemies. So yeah guys, that's about it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching, and see you next time! This is the place that weapons trader was talking about. Uh-oh. I'm picking up hostile machine life forms. That should be enough. Let's get these back to the trader. Plant life has claimed most of the central area. Big plants, too. Report. Records show that vegetation has grown to an abnormal size since the departure of humans. Hmm. Wonder if there are any huge boars and such, too. Hypothesis. Jamming caused by enemies in local vicinity.
Access point communications jammed. of Humanity has a message for all of our brave androids fighting on the surface. Currently, our struggle against the machine life forms is at a stalemate. This battle has raged for far too long. I am sure all of you find the effort grueling. But now is not the time to give up. Now, more than ever, we must forge on. Remember that several hundred thousand humans on the moon want nothing more than to return to Earth. Glory to mankind. Those council broadcasts are always so stiff. Report. Mail notification. Hey, name's... I hear you guess that. Looks like... Hmm? Wouldn't want to have anyone... Don't go... Who opens a sealed gate with explosives? There's got to be an easier way, right? This sand sure is slippery. Careful. We've got enemies approaching. Android Desert. <laughs> These machines are talking. Yeah, I heard from the Resistance that they've been seeing this a lot lately. Couldn't tell you why, though. Do you think they even understand the concept of being scared? 